This is part two on how to solve the 5x5 five five tutorial. Now, so far you've solved the yellow side, or the black side, or two opposite edges, two opposite um, faces. You can pick any color, color you want. Now, I prefer to start with the red when you're solving the four edges. Now, since there's a red piece right here, which is kind of hard to see, rotate it so that it will go in its right place up here, and you just move it. Now, of course, since it's to the side, you won't mess up the black or the yellow. And there, since you have the complete bar, you move it to the side, like that. And you need to find the red. Which is right there. So you just move it down. You didn't mess anything up. Now, to find the other pieces. That's a red. That's a red. Move this up. It'll go right there, so you just move it up. Move it to the side, since you messed this up. And then you just bring it down. And you didn't mess that up either. Now, you find another red corner piece. It's right there. Now, since there are no bars in the way, as you can see, you can just move it down, move it down, until it's right there. Then you have a complete bar, and you didn't mess anything up. Move it to the side, move it up. And there, you have two complete bars, and you just need to fix the, mi the middle. Now, as you can see, that's right there. So, you just move it to the side, so that when you move the piece, it'll make a complete bar. So, yeah. Or you can do it the other way. It's still the same. So, you just move that down. You move it. Twice. You move that twice. See? It still hasn't messed anything up. Then when you move that up, it will mess this up. So, you just move it out of the way. Bring this back down, it's not messed up, and bring that up. There, you have three complete sides. Yellow, red, or black, or whatever colors you picked. Now, I would want to go with the blue instead of the green for some reason, or orange. Now, since this corner will go right there, you just move it. But you just messed up your red, so you're going to need to move the blue out of the way and move that red back up. And there. Now, since you have a complete bar, you can move it. Bring that piece down and replace it with the bar. It's there. You didn't mess anything up and you got your blue piece right there. Now, to get with the rest, the middle, you move this piece up to the side so that when you bring it down, it will be there. But you just messed up the red. So, you put that back up and move the middle. You didn't mess up any of the red and you still have your blue. There's a corner right there. So, you're going to need to bring it there or... Yeah, wherever. Bring it up, bring it to the side, and bring it down. There. You have this sort of shape thingy. Now you have another corner. You can bring this down, so it's right there. Move this to the side, bring that up, and you have a 2x2 two two bar. And your red isn't messed up. Now, to put this back up there, you move it to the side, bring this down, and you replace it with the bar. Then you bring it back up. So now you have this sort of shape thing. Whatever it is. Find the other pieces. Right there. On the complete bottom. That's like the worst scenario. Now to fix it, you're going to need to move this up. Move it away to the side. Move it down. And there. Now, you're going to need to put this right there without messing any of it up. So to do this, you're going to bring these pieces down to complete a full 3x3 three three bar. Move this to the side, as you can see there's a red bar, so you can move it up. To fix it, then just move it to that position again, bring this blue bar down, move it, and bring this up. So there, your red side is finished, and your blue side is almost done. Now do the same with this piece. Move it up, move it out of the way, bring it back down, find it, replace it, bring that up, move it again, and then you can just, just bring that down, turn it, and there. Sorry, you have a complete blue side, and a complete red side, yellow, and black. Now, the final two edges. This is the toughest part out of all the centers for the V-Cube. Watch part three.